Hello Lever friends, this week let's talk about markdown extension support, pairing numbers and multiplying your collections. Let's go! The string helper in Laval has this markdown method where you can provide GitHub flavored markdown and it will generate HTML for you. Pretty nice. But now you can also specify markdown extensions. There are a bunch out there that you can use that help you tweak your output in a very specific way. So please check them out. Thank you, Tony. Next, let me show you how you can create pairs of numbers. So here's what we can do. We have our number helper here in level, and now we have a new method called pairs. Yes, that's it. So we can pick a specific number. That's kind of the highest amount, like 100. And up to this number, we want to divide, we want to create pairs of this number. And now with the second argument, let's start with pairs of 50. And let's see what this gives us. So we get now two pairs. The first one is from 1 to 50. And by the way, we only see the minimum and the maximum values. We don't get all the values. Minimum is 1, maximum is 50. That's our first pair. And the second one is now from 51 till 100. So that's what we're going to do. Up, till, up to the number of 100, we're creating pairs by 50. If we would change this now to, let's say 10, we get pairs of 10, 1 to 10, 11, 20, 21, 30, and so on. And by the way, we're starting here by one because this is the offset. By default, we can also change this to zero, the third argument, and now we had zero to 10 if we prefer this. And of course, if we create pairs of two, we get all the numbers, one, two, three, four, but all in pairs of two. So pretty interesting and pretty cool. So you might think now how and where I'm going to use this. So yeah, I think it's a kind of little bit unique feature, but I'm pretty sure there are um, different ways we can use this. Let's say we're working for nine hours every day. So this would be 540 minutes per day. And let's say we have some kind of service that we provide for people. And let's say every service, every time slot that we can provide has maybe 30 minutes. So this is what we can do here. And now we get all the slots for our whole working day. First 1 to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, and so on. So maybe now you can use this to visualize all the different time slots that you are available and from what time or how long they take. And this is something that you could do because now you could also easily switch. Okay, let's say... Our treatments take 45 minutes. All right, now our slots look different, 1 to 45, and so on. So this is something that I can think where this could be really helpful, but I'm also interested in how you are going to use this because I really feel like this is a nice new addition. Thank you, Adam. And last here is how you can multiply your collections. I do have here all my users from the database, and then I'm looping over them and I'm printing out the name like this here in Tinkerwall, and you can see I get only my name back. So this means I only have one use in the database. And yeah, sometimes for testing in your plate files, maybe for you eyes, you maybe you want to loop over a list or something and you only have now one use and this means your list doesn't look that good. So what you can do now is you can use now a new method, which is called multiply. And then by a specific number, and now we have three items in our user's collection. And then when we loop over them, you can see I get three items back. So as I mentioned, this could be useful for testing UIs and testing your plate files, testing where you need some more data than the one that you actually got and where you don't want to yeah, add this to the database. Of course, this works with any kind of collection. Let's create a new one here with just um, an array of one and I can multiply this here as well and I would get a collection with just the items here of one. So this works as well. Give it a try and let me know how you would use this. Thank you, Patrick. That's it for this week. Have fun with these new features and let me know which of those you like the most in the comments below. Have fun. Bye.